Well, hi YouTube. You see this little program? It's actually a, a program for a AVR microcontroller, and it's a very little experiment I did to test out a special LED which can change it, its color. Um, the principle is very, very uh, simple. You change the polarity of the LED, so it changes its color because actually those are two LEDs in one case, and well. If you change the polarity, uh, you can switch on one LED and switch off the other. So the one is red, the one is green, and this is why it changes its color. Uh, <laughs> that's quite cute. So you can use it sort of as a status LED. You'll need two port pins, and so you can sort of show everything's in order, or something is wrong, sort of. And of course, for the whole thing, I used my SDK 500 which is the development kit for the AVR controller provided by Atmo. This is the SDK. The microcontroller is in the socket above. And this is extension board I mounted. And uh, this is a breed board. So I connected one of the AVR ports with a flat cable, as you can see here. And uh, this is the whole thing, right? It's very simple. And uh, it's looping it all over. So, right, this is the whole program here. Uh, so you just you toggle the port pins, you switch on one port pin and uh, the other is off and then you do it vice versa and that's how the color changes. So that's the whole thing. That's a very, well, a little experiment. This is one of the things you could probably start with. So as a first thingy to realize uh, the basic function of a microcontroller. So it's quite neat and of course the same principle is applicable to LEDs with have, which have more colors than only two and uh, you can do this with LEDs uh, which are RGB LEDs like like the one I have here which is my ICQ status indicator you can switch it on for well let's, let's take the mode right that one that's an that's a uh, LED which uh, fades through the whole uh, spectrum of colors, um, from blue to red to green. Right, you see. It's the same principles. Uh, it's a little more complicated. It has three LEDs in it: a red, a green, uh, and a blue one. And uh, it's it uses uh, a, a pulse width modulation to sort of dim uh, the brightness of the single LEDs and this is how you can produce almost any color with it well a little simpler <laughs> it's this two color LED but uh, you know LEDs are quite high-tech stuff nowadays you you can get all sorts of LEDs which do very bright LEDs and, and very funky LEDs, like uh, you can produce almost any color. Well, this one has a controller built in to the LED, so I couldn't change anything about it. It, it just fades through, and I can't do anything against uh, about it because the controller, the whole electronics, is built into the LED. So, but you can get those LEDs on the, uh, for manual use, so you can do cool stuff with it. Okay, this is just a little uh, example of uh, what you can do with a microcontroller. Okay, this is it, it's a poor example, I, I admit it, but uh, as a start, this is one thing you can try. Like, just switch some ports and toggle the LED with it, and uh, this is, if you, if you get it working to such a point, you've got a good start because the principle, uh, you need the principal uh, functions and principal functions of the controller and that's a good thing so thanks for watching and if any of you guys want to see anything special anything specific please just ask me and I'll provide it for you if possible thanks